How's it going guys? We are back with another Anthem video. The CES trailer has been released by Nvidia, so I wanted to go through that trailer. There is a few cool tidbits in there that's worth looking at. Nvidia did bait everyone with a new javelin when in fact it's a never before seen javelin appearance as confirmed by Mike Gamble. So there is no fifth javelin. It was clickbait at its finest. With that said, if you find this video useful, a like would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new for more awesome Anthem news. And don't forget to share. With that said, let's check out the trailer. Technology has always helped us unleash our creative potential by giving players more immersive experiences than ever before. In Anthem, head out into a chaotic and beautiful world. Fly across wondrous lands in your javelin exosuits. Confront deadly creatures. Formidable foes. And awe-inspiring mysteries. NVIDIA takes us one step further by rendering our game with more precision and higher quality textures. Javelins, creatures, and combat have never looked better. We are happy to announce that we are working with NVIDIA to bring DLSS technology to Anthem. Check out Anthem on PC with Origin Access Premier on February 15th. Pretty cool stuff, right? I mean, graphically, it's going to look amazing. It's running 60 frames per second 4K on PC. So the one being showcased in the trailer is the PC version. No doubts about that. However, the ambient lighting, the foliage, just the graphical display looks absolutely amazing when you look at the open space the way the javelins are just zipping through the caves the two new enemies that they showcase look pretty cool this ape-like creature then you have this kind of spider-like mech it just looks great and then you've got this shot of the javelin flying down into the openness and everything you see here can be explored there isn't a bit here that can't be explored in real time just to note if you go into a stronghold or the social hub it will load because they are instances but everything else that you see in the open world can be freely explored without the aid of a loading screen and that's pretty damn awesome it pretty much reminds me in a sense of how vast the red dead map is you can pretty much go everywhere you can see and um, it's pretty cool i'm really really looking forward to this I don't know, you guys let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the trailer. We got to see a couple new enemies, a bit more of the open, vast nature of the world. We got to see the true power of the Nvidia tech on PC with the game running at 4K at 60 frames. But then, then, we've got this image here, which if I didn't tell you, you would say, hey Chaos, that is PC, but it's actually not, it's confirmed. But this image here is 4K Xbox One X. Now I have reached out to the developers to see if the PS4 Pro will actually do native 4K like the Xbox One X, but I've yet to hear back from them. So if you follow me on Twitter, I will be tweeting out as soon as I actually get some response. So if you are interested in this sort of thing, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and other social media. Details in the description below. So we have some tweets coming to the developers. Insufferable fan asked, if for instance, a ranger and a colossus attack the same prepped enemy, will both their attacks take effect or will only one? Interesting question and Ben Irving said, works for the first person who triggers the combo. Essentially the mob that's been prepped by another player will basically be triggered by the first one to attack it with the combo. So if you have all three people attacking it, trying to get a combo in, only the first one will take effect. 
so do try and time that effectively when you're trying to do this. It's good to know because everyone will be spamming their combos left, right and centre trying to get those good numbers. Again, I did touch on this before, but this question has come up again. And to me, this question does mean a lot, especially in this day and age, especially when other competitors are using peer to peer servers, because that kind of still sucks. Well, Sunny asked, are there dedicated servers or peer to peer? To which they responded, dedicated. And in this day and age, this is exactly the type of thing we expect. We don't expect peer to peer anymore, where you kind of run around the corner and still get shot. So with dedicated servers, hopefully this will be alleviated and it'll be a lot more fairer. Obviously they have said that there's no PVP at present, but that is subject to change should the demand rise. And if it does change with the demand rising, well, there's dedicated servers for it. It won't be peer to peer. Dade Fouye, I hope I pronounced that right, asked the gameplay from IGM was nothing less than spectacular. I will be covering this in a later video with a bit more analysis. I would like to know if there are options to change the headlight colours of the javelins. So when you go into a dark place, much like your ghost in destiny, it brings up a torch. Your javelin has lights, and what they would like to know is if you can change these colours or alter them. Gamble said not a launch, so expect this to be something that could potentially be customizable later on. The next question I picked up was because I've been getting a lot of questions about MTX and basically people are complaining that the game will be paid to win and that EA and Bioware are going to fleece everyone. Here's them reiterating it again with the question. So when you say the only monetized features will be aesthetics, accessory, does that mean that on startup there will be material types and or colors locked from use in customization? Ben Irving said, we may do stuff like that, probably not colors. So it seems unlike Warframe, which pretty much monetizes everything, and yes it does when it comes to cosmetics, colors will likely not be monetized, so you can pick any color you want. Considering you can create your own palette of colors and your own shade of color, it doesn't really make sense for them to block out colors, but other stuff like patterns and designs will likely, at least some of them, be locked behind a microtransaction wall which again i am totally fine with because everything else is free when it comes to dlc this next question is pretty awesome the webs asked let's say i play a lot of anthem and i get farther than my friend will the mobs scale up to me if i join his game or will i be a powerhouse to be reckoned with now naturally if you're joining your friend at level one you want to be able to go in there and just wreck shit you don't want to be going in there and getting completely and utterly smashed i mean you want to feel powerful right you've put in the time you've put in the effort you've put in the work to grind for the gear so why not ben irving said you both will do relative damage and take relative damage so that you can have fun playing together so even if you're at level one and you're at level 30 if you team up when the enemy shoots you or when you shoot the enemy you will be doing relative damage which means it is gonna scale and we've known that it's gonna scale up to level 30 of your pilot anyway but this next part here is what's important there are some benefits for the higher player more options and unlocks etc what he's saying there is that with the better gear you get better inscriptions you get more perks you get more abilities and all of these will add on to that base layer of scaling to make you a complete powerhouse so it's not that you're going to go in there and get wrecked by level one mobs your abilities will basically shine through and create that powerhouse feeling that you're looking for chris alfisi asked hello ben can we choose which javelin we unlock after the ranger or would i have to wait till level 24 to play my favorite, The Storm. Now this is a pretty cool question, it's an important question, because if they lock it to level 30 or 24, it's gonna kinda suck. But Ben Irving confirmed, you can choose whatever you want at level two. The tutorial will likely take you from level one to level two. It's been confirmed that the tutorial will last around 15, 20 minutes. And after that, you can group up and play with your friends. Once you get to level two, choose whichever javelin you want and go have fun. The aim of the game is to have fun.
So I stumbled across a video Mike Dora made about 7 months ago with Game Informer and I've linked the video in the description below, definitely worth taking a look as it does have a lot of relevant questions even for today. I went through and picked out the ones I think are important and relevant but you should check it out if you have the time. So it seems Anthem can be played in single player and multiplayer, scaling will make it so it's fun to play however you want to play it. Dora has confirmed multiple times now and it seems the vision from 7 months ago and the commitment was upheld. He said there will be no loot boxes, no card packs, no treasure packs, nothing of the sort. The model will be similar to that of Fortnite where you see something you like, you can outright buy it and get it. No gambling and if you like the game and want future content this is how you can support the devs going forward. Of course that isn't to say you have to, after the base purchase you don't have to pay another dime. The whole game is accessible to you base vanilla and future DLC due to it being a live service game. Anthem itself will not be taking place on Earth as confirmed but they have not specified the planet either. Cutscenes will not only be in first person but in third person as well giving you the opportunity to see your javelin in all its awesomeness. Along with this your characters will be voiced despite having a character creation and to top it off Though not available at launch, if demand is there, they will allow you to change your character appearance. This however will likely be tied to microtransactions with the first change most likely being free. The environment will be destructible but to what extent is yet unknown and it won't be permanent. If you're going in solo there will be no AI teammates, this is a strictly single player affair or a multiplayer affair with the scaling making it fair for both types of gameplay, so all is catered for. One that was intriguing to say the least was that you may be able to get into another player's javelin. Not sure how this will work if it's even still on the cards, however it was confirmed it won't be there for launch but for a later date. Maybe a new game mode of some kind? Who knows? The concept sounds interesting alone at least so I thought I'd mention it. When you complete the main campaign, the credits will roll after the final boss and the critical path will come to a close. So you are getting a complete story with possible updates to new story arcs and threats in the future. A big one, inventory space, has been confirmed at 250 slots, originally thought at 300 but is currently set for 250 at launch. There will be no forced solo missions in Anthem forcing you to split your party. All missions will be co-op or multiplayer friendly, as well as solo obviously. When you first go free roaming, you will have access to all the free roaming areas. Just be prepared to get wrecked if you go near high level enemies, but the fact that you can is a nice touch. The multiplayer is 4 players but can be done with less. Just remember enemy number scales from 2 to 4 players and damage and HP scales from 1, 2, 3, 4 players. So if you have 3 players, you'll get 4 players worth of enemies but a scaling of 3 players for health and damage. A really really intriguing one is the cross platform. They indicate that it's possible but logistics are an issue. However it is something that they are keen to do. Maybe in a future update at some point, maybe in a year's time, who knows. But it is something that they are looking at and something they want to do and when they have more information they will announce it. They also confirmed the Switch version pretty much is not happening. And that's it for today's news outing, I hope you enjoyed this video and it brought you some news and updates you had yet to discover. I am astonished at the amount of support and can see 2k subs more now than I could a couple weeks ago, so I wanted to say a massive 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 thank you to, to all of you that have and continue to show your support. If you made it this far, leave a hashtag made to end. Until the next video, remain legend.